In this video, we're going to continue on with HTML5 structure tags. Specifically, in this video, we're going to look at fig caption and figure and the details and summary element tags. Now, first, I want you to copy an image to your website folder. I've used this old Julius Caesar image that I've used many times in many of my lectures, but go ahead and copy the image that you want to use. And then with inside the article element, I want you to go ahead and create an IMG element and point to your image. And actually, let's go ahead and get rid of this H2 element. We don't need this anymore. We're just going to do a few house cleaning things here. And let's go over to our style sheet, and we're going to increase the size of our article element to 500 pixels. We need a little bit more space for what we're going to do in this lecture. So let's go ahead and save this, let's return to our HTML document, and let's just go ahead and load this up real quick. Good, there we go. So there's our image. Now I want you to notice, and just remember this, that there's no margin around this currently, and that's the way we want to keep it for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. So first what we're gonna do is look at the fig caption and figure, and they kind of go together hand in hand. You're gonna use them together. And these are two very, very useful tags. It actually works very well with images. And if you guys remember, it was very hard to add captions to your images in previous versions of HTML and CSS. Now it's much easier to do in HTML5. And I'm gonna show you just how easy that is in this video. So first, let's go ahead and add the figure element. And we're gonna add this right around our image. So let's go ahead and close it now. And then let's see what we get here. So let's go ahead and save this and let's load our web page. And see what that did? It added some margin. So automatically, when you add the figure element, it's going to go ahead and add some margin around your image because usually images have margin around them. So you can see how that works. Okay, so let's close this out. And now what we wanna do is go ahead and add the fig caption. And again, this should put a caption right under our image. And it's so easy to use in HTML5. And again, this is one of my favorite tags in HTML5. And we can put this right below our image it still has to stay within the figure element. So the fig caption element goes inside the figure element. It's nested inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and just close it out really quickly. And then you can put any caption you want in here. Some people put figure one or something or figure two. We're just gonna say this is a bust of Julius Caesar, which of course it is. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and let's see if it worked. And take a look at that. We now have our caption and see how easy that is to use? Very, very easy. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the details and summary elements. And these also go together hand in hand. Now, what these basically do is allow you to show and hide content. It's similar, if you took my jQuery series, it's very similar to the show and hide in jQuery, except you can do it all in HTML5 now. So these are two very, very useful element tags as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right below our figure element, but we're staying with inside of our article, of course. And let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna copy and paste all of this because I already typed this out. And there you can see, let me actually arrange this a little bit better here. Okay, so here is the details element tag, and this is the first tag we wanna use. And then we put in our summary. And this is actually what will be displayed first on the page. This is all you'll see. And what this will do is it'll give a little arrow that the user can select to open up the content. And once they do, they'll get this paragraph and they'll get this Caesar image. And that's all you have to do now to do a show and hide. That's it. You don't have to do any jQuery. You don't have to use any JavaScript. They make it very easy to use in HTML5. So once again, you always use the details element first, and then inside there, you'll put a summary. And usually this is actually what the content is, but you can also tell them that they basically can show and hide the content as well. You can put a little blurb about that if you want. And then you can put whatever content you want. In this case, I just put a little paragraph element, and I just use the Caesar image again. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's open this up in Chrome, and let's see what we get. So there it is, there's our summary, see that? And now all we have to do is click on this little arrow, and look, there's our content, and we can toggle this on and off. How nice is that? So easy to use in HTML5. Okay, that's gonna do it for the structure tags in HTML5. We will move on to a new subject in the next video. Thank you.